grief. All I did was breathe. Get some grief on that plane after you guys. Was it? Yeah. What yeah. happened? Just what? They just pulled my case off. Basically said you can't fly with it. Even though I had batteries. Yeah. yeah, off the plane. I was like, this is sleep. Yeah, yeah. I looked out the window and like he's searched, gone through the bag. Not to see lands going like. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was ready for it. I was. Demonstration. Please for the safety of police for your attention. Once again, you're very welcome on board. So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are off to Ushuaia to play arguably my biggest I be the show of the season for Michael Bibby for his one life party. This only came in like 10 days ago. So it was one I wrote down in my list of goals for 2024 was to play Ushuaia. And as I mentioned in the last video, there's only one club which I wrote down, which we didn't get, which was high. Um, but yeah, Yeshwaya to me is one of the more commercial clubs, but like super epic, the productions, etc. So for me to get there feels like a big moment because I didn't actually, you know, know if it was capable to get there still playing this kind of music. So buzzing. Um, so yeah, Kurt, best Yeshwaya memory. Ooh, probably dates back to 2017. Nick Fanciulli back to back Yoris Vaughan for Ants. I think they were playing for them like every season for around that time. But I've been every single year for probably 10 years. So now save the biggest for the 10 year anniversary. And how does Yeshwaya rank in list of clubs for you on the island? Top three. For me it goes DC10, Amnesia, Ushuaia. Yeah, so I've only actually been to Ushuaia once. We did our first ever You and Me I Beat the Show at Zoo Project. Uh, I think the day before or the day after, we went to Ushuaia and like, I didn't know who was on. I think it was Nick Fanciulli, but it was the first time I heard Fisher losing it. I think it was like six years ago. The fact that tune's been out that long is crazy. Um, I'm going to put a picture on the screen now of the outfit I had on. It was terrible, this two-piece. Absolutely terrible. I remember that. I thought that. it was cool as well. <laughs> you thought you were, thought thought you were rocking I it I thought as well. I was the man. <laughs> um, anyway, I remember hearing losing it. Then the cannons went off and I was like, fuck. And in that moment, funnily enough, I got that song. And I actually got, I understood, bigger room, more commercial electronic music. I think there's, an, there's like an a time period as an artist where you kind of become a bit chin strokery and I'm experiencing it now with people saying this about me, you know, oh, it's commercial, blah, 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 blah. Like we spoke on last video briefly. Um, but that was the moment I realized that like it serves a purpose, these big room things. Like the experience of me at the time, Fisher losing it wasn't like, that wasn't to my taste. But like now I've got older, I fucking get why that tune got so big. Yeah, like you've got to play these bigger rune tracks to fill that thing. Like when I played after Paco Sooner at Elro, like I noticed some of the tracks I played, you know, they're, if they're not mixed as well or they're a bit more little room, they kind of don't, they don't encapsulate the vibe that people expect in them big things. So it all works hand in hand with the production yeah. element, yeah. Yeah. value. Fish is a good um, example of it, but that I can remember that two-piece night. That was actually one of the best nights I've had. Balto, we went to went to Sankeys. Because we got a picture, you can probably put it yeah, on the yeah, thing yeah, afterwards. Yeah. And there was a guy, no, no, we, we went to the old Sankeys. There was a guy in the same fucking shirt as well, the bald guy. <laughs> yeah. There was a bald guy in the same fucking shirt, man. Who wore it better? Uh, me, he was about this tall, man. It was He made me look like a six-foot guy. Um, yeah, wild. That was like when we were proper just causing chaos on the island. But yeah, that was Zoo Project, the first ever my first I beat the show, wasn't it? That, and like, still though, arguably like, the best night I've had on the island. <laughs> yeah, it was good because all the boys were there as well, and the local doing stuff. What Zach, is, is that any questions? What is so iconic about the Esquire pub itself. <sighs> you know, I, I, I think there's a lot of kind of bad press on the VIP culture in Ibiza, but. I understand that it's priced people out, but it's also added this whole like crazy experience of production because if they didn't have all this stuff, it wouldn't be possible to put, I don't know what they are, CO2 cannons, fucking lights, things flying everywhere. Um, so I actually do kind of understand that side of the island because um, it offers a lot. So for me, like Yeshuaia is the epitome. It's one of the best production on the island. This is the really? outdoor element as well, yeah. isn't it? It's the biggest scale venue in, on the island and it's outdoor. So offers something that nothing, no other venue on the island really does. Obviously there's Destino, but it's probably a quarter of the size. So it gives that kind of festival vibe, but in Ibiza. And the production value is just insane. 
by far the best on the island. I've never say. actually been in the booth, so today will be a first for that. It was like Creamfields of the week. I never, we only popped into Creamfields the year before, and that was like a moment where it just all came together rapid. I saw it all, people everywhere. Um, so I'm expecting today to be a similar kind of thing. How, are you, how would one handle nerves on a day like today, if there are any? No, I'm, I'm actually, you know what, I don't really get too nervous. I think because like, maybe when I get there, I will just for a play, but I feel like I've kind of lived these moments in my head so many times, and I've got the, the undeniable proof that, you know, digging for music, playing all these gigs, small clubs, like these moments are built towards them. So I don't really feel nervous. There's obviously all things. I'm always more anxious about it not going as well as it can go, more so than like, oh, I'm nervous to play. I'm just really hopeful that it reaches the expectations that, that I want it to get to, which sometimes you don't know until you're there in the moment and, you know, you play the right track, do the right mix and, you know, yeah. It probably helps who's playing before and after you as well. Yeah, yeah. So the line, feel a bit at home the line, with the lineup. The, the so. lineup today is wicked, so we'll get it on the screen right now. Um, like the lineup really suits the way I play. I'm interested to see what Chris does after me, whether he stays like, you know, really his sound or plays it more commercial. Like I'm definitely gonna play a few tracks that I wouldn't play in other clubs, you know, big room ones like that kind of resonate with the vibe I was talking about before. Um, but yeah, the lineup's sick, so it should be good. Yeah, we had that chat in the, on the plane, didn't we? Oh, when we were in the airport, yeah, Zach asked how you might play. Yeah, I'll play some more that like, no doubt some TikTok chat behind you. So no doubt there'll be some that like, you know, the chin stroke say, why is he playing that? But at the end of the day, big room business, guys, big room business. So yeah, I always want to choose some kind of iconic shirt for all the big gigs, not all of them, but like, if, I can, if I've got time and I can go and get something cool, which will, you know, look sick on the pictures and that, and, you know, in the future, it'll be cool to have these to look back on. And who knows, maybe songs at the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> you can start framing them like yeah, a yeah. Chelsea footballer. Yeah, maybe I'll give them away to charity one day. So yeah, after our play, we are going to Sheffield tonight, guys. We've got a gig at Tank playing at 2 a.m. till 3.30 a.m. So we've got to basically play the show, chill for an hour and a half, go to the airport, play Sheffield. And then tomorrow I am playing in Edinburgh, but the gig is at 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. And it takes like fucking five hours to get there. So we've got to leave Sheffield at 8 a.m. And we're finishing playing at like 3.30 a.m. So if that ever was relevant, it's now. Rock on, guys. See you, Ushuaia. Any final words, Josh, before you turn into a king again? Um, it was nice knowing you guys, and I'm gone. <laughs> nah, I'm buzzing, guys. These are the moments you work towards for years. Um, I'm going to try and take it all in as well. I know it sounds very obvious, but I went to play DC 10 for the first time, just I don't know, just went like that. Um, but after Creamfield, I feel like Creamfield, I soaked it in, I looked around, you know, breathe in, you know, just be confident. Um, and like I remember it, so I'm gonna try to do the same today. It's easy just to get in your own head and just kind of look down and all that kind of shit. But I think, you know what, actually, the bigger it is, sometimes there's that many people there, you can just look out because there's less pr pressure and people like staring at you. Um, it's almost just like a sea of bodies versus like you're playing in a club where there's 200 people you can really feel the eyes on you so sometimes it's better just to stay locked in so yeah that's the uh, that's the current thoughts oh hello <laughs> i have too many bags <laughs> This is what we do guys, oil to perfection, a few hard seltzers which are white claws, that's the new drink.
message when you said it all I think of me Mm-hmm, I know it's killing me Leave a message when you said it all I think of me Fast guys, yeah. fucking half an hour ago. Pinnacle Live, now about to go for our beef wrap on get Burger King. Fuck! <laughs> so, delayed flight, guys. Uh, we just checked the internet and it says it's gonna be an hour and a half delay. So, I don't know if we're gonna make the Sheffield gig by the looks of it. But let's see. Go and sauce me up. Um, that, that'll do. And then a, a little bit of normal light meal as well, please. I'm sorry. Light mail, just just a just a Anything? drizzle. Just a drizzle. Yep, yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can't do. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Landed back in the UK, guys, finally. However, we experienced a two hour delay. Plus, um, even when we landed, we got stuck in the plane for 15 minutes. It's meant the Sheffield gig can happen, but we almost had to cancel it. It's now 2 a.m. and we've got to drive to Sheffield, which is an hour and 15. Um, but yeah, we were looking at options of doing it next weekend after our house project, but I've already got two gigs that day. And I ultimately decided that wasn't an option, so. For it to happen, we needed to do it tonight, which we can do. However, it's gonna start late. So I apologize for anyone watching this who has stuck it out because you will see me. I'll just be there late. And there's been like a thousand tickets as well. So for me, it's frustrating because Tank's a sick club and I wanted to like have a proper stab at smashing it, but we'll still get there. But I understand that it's fucking late, 3.30, by the time I get playing, really. That's late in the UK. So yeah, we're walking to the car, which is, has to be part of a different terminal, which is another add-on. But only solutions, no problems, guys. <laughs> So 7.40 a.m. Literally got in from the club at 5.30 a.m. Had 90 minutes sleep. We're now back on the road because we're gonna drive back home and then get a train to Edinburgh. That means we can go there and back today. Jake's not slept much. Um, he didn't come to the club last night, so there's no HD clips you should have seen. Um, but it was fucking insane. We'll talk about the club in a sec. Um, we're gonna go back, um, drop the car off, and then we'll get the train because that means we can come back tonight as well because the cruise party now, but yeah, about last night, fuck me. It was on fire. You know, part of me was kind of like, oh, I didn't have the energy and all that kind of stuff, but it was like one of the moments where I just gave kind of everything I had to the show and it was fucking unreal. The people were buzzing. I think there's definitely gonna have been a, a vibe amongst them. Oh, we can't be arsed. Um, but yeah, we got in there, we fucking had to skew the shot. Cracked open a white claw and sent it, and the water just kept going at five. It was still full. Um, I think I started about 5.20 in the end. Oh, sorry, I started playing it for 3.20, so got an hour and 40, but unreal scenes. That was like, it was like one of those moments you remember why DJing is so fun. So 
you're going to get in the car now, get back to homeland, and then we'll see you on the train. What's up, dogs? Um, so, literally two minutes, then we get the train to Manchester Airport, which we then changed to Edinburgh. And then we arrive in Edinburgh 57 minutes before the set time. So, all will be revealed if it's a smooth, uh, smooth ride or not. Based on what's happened in the last week, I would say not, but it's got to be really, because like I don't think a car could even get off that same speed now. But we'll be fine. I've got a good feeling. Our looks changing now. Off the train, dudes, in a taxi on the way to the festival. We're on in 36 minutes. <sighs> Time to perfection, if you ask me, but yeah, rushing as usual. But there really wasn't an alternative. Um, the train was definitely better than driving. Uh, so yeah, we'll make it. It's a bit grey, but I've got a very good feeling about this one. Very good feeling. I had some, uh, had some time going through some tunes. Got some new ones to play. Let's do this shit. <laughs> Are you from Manchester? I'm from Manchester, yeah, like just outside uh, in Cheshire, so like okay, a small countryside, yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I come, I get told I've got a drink, and I still yeah, got yeah, shit. Yeah. Today's the day, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Unreal, that man. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you down. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. It's fucking looks so, unreal. Uh, oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Is it first time playing in Scotland? Um, I played, uh, my, my first ever gig was in Edinburgh like eight years ago. Eight years ago, <laughs> fucking years ago. But yeah, my time, yeah I, I think I played in. Um, Sneaky Feet? So. No, nah, I, I can't remember. But oh, I don't no. think I played a proper Scotland gig yet, no. No. No, so today's. Then we've got you back in December as well. Yeah, yeah, so now I can't wait. Yeah, I've yeah, yeah. sold out yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as well. Yeah, I think today's going to be good. Scots, I love you here. Yeah. I know, it's going to be good, man.
Josh Baker. Fresh off the set, Predatory Gardens, open air, how is that? That was one of the best sets this summer, man. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, They yeah. fucking loved it, man, you smashed it. You came on, they were like, fucking, ah! I said to Murray, who's actually Scottish, I was like, Dread, they know me, yeah, Dreadlock Chair. And when I came on, everyone started screaming, so I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They know you, you're selling out shows before they even advertise I you. Know, wild. Your subclub show for Fly already sold out. They didn't even advertise it, and it was I know, wild, wild, man, surreal. Thanks, nice, we love you here. Right, bro, how was that compared to the English crowd? Scottish crowds are like well known for being fucking mental. How is that? You know what, it lived up to expectations. Like, yeah. everyone's like screaming. Um, yeah, they were going for it, man. Going for what it. a venue, man. Underneath Edinburgh Castle. Pretty iconic location. How is this as a venue? Yeah, honestly, look over there. It's beautiful. Yeah. I think trying to get some open air in a setting like this is really hard anywhere in the world. So for sure. Different. Like, with something like Edinburgh Castle. But well, right in the centre of Edinburgh. This is only, like, green space in Edinburgh. You can do something like this under, like, one of Scotland's most iconic places, Edinburgh Castle. Yeah, man, nice real. one. Right, what's a tune that's not one of your own that's top of the USB right now? Um, there's one called Prosper. Um, work that body that I played tonight. It's yeah. like a Deep House kind of 2012 vibe. Nice. I think, I think that kind of genre is going to come back. Yeah? yeah very nice, very nice. You, you call it, you call it uh, very. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. mate. When you're touring, you're going gig to gig, what's something like your hangover cure to get you going the next day? I always pack electrolytes. Oh, yeah? Put two electrolytes in a bottle of water, shake it up, down it, done. Scoop it, good to go. Done, bro. Right, mate, what's the dream venue you've not played yet? I think High Ibiza. Yeah. The main room that looks sick and everyone that plays yeah. is insane. So like, I think High. It's number one club in the world. Yeah, Both yeah, number yeah, one exactly. club in the world. Yeah, nice one, right. What's something on your radar that can't be missed? Tequila. <laughs> Tequila, good man. Yeah, I've got a joke. Why did the Mexican man push his, push his wife down the stairs? What's that? Repeat that one time. Why did the Mexican man push his wife down the stairs? Uh, tequila. Tequila. Yeah, yeah. He's too quick. He's too quick. You heard that before. He saw me coming. Uh, last question. Seconds, man. Let me think of a question. Anything you want to talk about? Anything you got coming up? Uh, oh, I've got one for you. Right, so Flyer putting you on in Sub Club in Glasgow, an iconic venue. Have you been before? You know what? You'll laugh at this. I came to Glasgow to make tunes for a guy called Ivan Cuts. Right, I know that. Yeah. We used to do Pop from 18 and we yeah. tried to get in a Sub Club and it was sold out and they knocked us back on the they door. They knocked you back. Knocked us back on the door. Yeah, you've sold out. And everyone said, like, it's the best. Everyone I speak to says Sub Club is like, iconic. It's one of the best clubs ever, man. Like, yeah, it's yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah. The so sound like, is amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah, and like, as an institution, I really like respect it. So to go and get my chance to play there, it means a lot. So I'm excited, yeah, yeah. man. December, isn't it? December, the, like, near Christmas. Yeah, 18th or something. Something like that. I think it's something like that. Well, it's sold out. We don't even need to advertise yeah, yeah. it. It's too late. Yeah, yeah. Right, nice one, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, Welcome to Scotland as well. Appreciate it, bro. No worries, bro.